Hey, so have you ever played your instrument in an elevator before? Get ready for a quirky vlog. I will be taking you back to February. If you're new here, I was in Singapore and when I was there, I had some fun experience. Oh! This is gonna be happening. We're in a, or I'm gonna be in an elevator. There's a camera and it's not mine. Please, thanks. Okay, and action. Yes. No access. Wow. I'm a rebel. Why did I say this is too <laughs> I'm not an 
object. <laughs> later after like six takes of me saying the same thing over and over again no one's gonna hire me to be an actress anytime soon but now on to the next part of this shoot I hope you enjoyed this and thank you my two helpers am I actually pushing it? I don't know wait oh you did that from behind I thought it was Done! Yay! Thank you for this experience. I told you guys it'd be quirky. Okay, bye. I'm back to present today. I basically was filming for a social media campaign that the Esplanade does, so I'll link the actual video in the description for you to watch. It was fun to play the piano in an elevator, which I've never done before, and actually I was impressed by the acoustics there. It's a nice reverb. Anyway, so Q&A, Q&A, Q&A. Uh, this is going to be the last time that I'm going to talk about Rock Wine of Third Concerto for a while, just because I think it's, it's getting old. But a lot of you asked me how I picked the cadenza. So the reason that I like this cadenza better than the Osseo one is because I think it shows much more variety of texture. And if you remember in the first movement after all of that climax and the development, you already have such thick sounds all together from the orchestra and the piano. The piano has that part where it plays a lot of, it plays, the pianist plays a lot of block chords and you know, you really have a very thick sound and then it dies down and then the cadenza part starts. And I think it's much more appropriate and just in terms of balance, it's much better to start with this cadenza, how it develops from just one chromatic line and then still one line and then harking back to the previous melodic material gets more and more developed into intervals, then triads, and then block chords and octaves, and I think that growth is just much more interesting than the Osseo one, which starts out with a very thick rumbling sound already. So I think it's more interesting, the other one, how you can hear the development and the growth of the texture and sound, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, uh, thank you for all of your questions on my last vlog, leave one down here and I'll pick one to answer in the next vlog, although I'm about to go to Germany in a couple of days and I don't know when I will be vlogging or posting on YouTube, but I will be vlogging, it's just I've been focusing on most of my energy to prepare for the concert in Essen on Sunday, so I'll see a couple of you there. And in the meantime, I don't know, <laughs> turn on your notifications and uh, if you want to subscribe to see and follow my journey into Germany and all of my upcoming performances. Otherwise, keep striving and I will see you soon. Thank you.